Hi guys, I'm back with one more video for the day. Today I'm going to show you my Granny's Country Candle Haul that I received in the mail about a week and a half ago and I've been trying to let them sit and cure. I have tried a few, so I'll let you know those too. I'm not going to smell too many of them for you because my camera will only let me upload 15 minutes at a time and I've already filmed this once and went way over 15 minutes and then realized that I couldn't do that. So I need to get through this giant box as fast as I can. So here we go. Okay, so the first things I'll go over with you are the little um, simmering melts that I got. And I got quite a few of these and I got two in each scent because they're 65 cents a piece or if you buy two of the same scent, they are 50 cents a piece. So the first one I got is, sorry about the light. Where can we see? Okay, Devonshire Delight. Um, and that's a Christmas scent. This one I don't really pick up a whole lot on right now. I think it still needs, some of these still need to cure for a while. This is Candy Cane Punch. And this is one of my favorites that I got out of the order. It's, there's quite a bit of peppermint in there, but there's also an effervescent punchy note that is just, it makes it so beautiful. I love that one. And then I got Banana Nut Bread. And I am liking this one on Cold Sniff. Uh, I can smell both the banana and the nut. Not so much bread right now. And then I got Cherry Clove Chutney, and this one is very good. Um, yeah, I get a lot of cherries and a lot of cloves, and I'm not sure what the chutney is, but oh well. Okay, and then I got Goofy Grape, very, very strong already. Haven't melted this one yet, but I'm looking forward to it because it's so good. And then I got Fa La 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 La, which is another Christmas scent, obviously. I'll smell this one. And I'm getting a little bit of an effervescent note. A little bit of fruit, maybe. That's really all from that one right now. Um, and then let's see. Here is gingerbread eggnog trifle, it says. I'm not sure what a trifle is. I think it must be truffle. I don't remember what this one is either. And I definitely get something almost sour, like a sour note in that. Not like a sour fruit note. Um, I don't know. That's a funky one. We'll see how that goes. And then I got Drunken Elf. And that smells like some kind of, um, I don't know. Some kind of a drink. I'm not sure what it is. I like that one, though. And then I have Orange Mint Spritzer, which was part of her Sense of the Month in, um, must have been July. I think I placed this order in July. And this one, you can definitely get the mint. It's I think it's more of a spearmint. And the orange. And that's really good also. And then I got Patriotic Punch, which was another one of her scents of the month. I might get punch out of this. Maybe like a grape and a cherry punch maybe. It's not very strong right now. And I apologize again because... My nose is very stuffed up right now. You can see it's all red from blowing it. So I can't smell too much. Um, part of this might just be my allergies, why things don't seem too strong to me. And then I got Pass in Time by the Poolside. And this is kind of a cleany, refreshing scent. I definitely smell some chlorine or watery notes to that. And I, I really do like that one. Then I got Booze in the Blender. Um, and this one, I get a lot of green notes to it. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to. It kind of reminds me of fresh cut grass. So I'm not sure what the booze in it is supposed to be. Um, I don't really get a whole lot of drinks out of this, but I really enjoy the scent. It's very good. Ooh. Sorry. Sorry for the crash. Bang, boom. Okay, and then, let's see. Polar Express Pudding, which is another one of the Christmas. Um, and I really like this one. I get a lot of the chocolate pudding notes in it. It's really creamy and smooth. I think maybe it has a little bit of mint in there, too. It's really good. Let's see. Those ones are good. <sighs> Sorry. Okay. Aloe and cucumber. This scent is so refreshing and smooth. And soothing. I love this one. I wish I would have got way more of that. 
It's delicious. Another one of my all-time favorites that I got from her was coconut cola. And I only ordered two of these because I thought, oh, I'm not going to like that. Um, oh my god, this is so good. It smells just like Coca-Cola. You get the fizz, you get everything with little notes of coconut. And it's so, so good. This one is awesome. I hope that it, she continues to put this on her regular scent list. It's good. And then the last one I got was pumpkin roll. And I love this scent. I definitely get a lot of pumpkin out of it. Um, let's see. There's a little bit of creaminess to it, too. Pumpkin rolls are one of my favorite things about fall. I can make a killer pumpkin roll. Oh, good. Anyways, so that's what I got for the simmering melts. The next thing I got was some clamshells. I believe there is five in there. And I got all these in the sense of the month um, for July. So the first one is watermelon mint margarita. And this one is delicious. You definitely get the watermelon and the mint. Um, it's very, very sweet. I love it. Then I got hurricane. And that is, I can't pick out the fruit in this. I want to say I smell honeydew, some melons maybe, but it's very, very delicious. I love that. I was so happy with all the scents of the month. Then I got pink panty dropper, which is such a funny name. My kids got a giggle out of that. And this one smells like straight champagne. It's really good. I love the smell of champagne. But you can just smell the bubbles in it and, ooh, I really, really like that one too. Okay. Oop, that's not supposed to be in there. Then I had Green Eyed Monster, and I have tried this one. Um, I tried it a few days ago. I think it, they, these still need to cure. I'm going to give them another week, week and a half or so. Um, this smells so good in the box. I can't pick out the notes in it. I'm not sure what it smells like, but it's just a very powerful scent. Um, it's pretty, too. And I just can't pick up the notes. Sorry, it's my nose today. But I didn't get a throw from that one. I got a very, very, very light throw in my living room. I moved it to my kitchen, and I could smell it a little bit better in there, but it wasn't fully cured, so we'll give it a shot. And then the last one is probably my favorite out of all the clamshells. Blueberry Mojito, and that's such a gorgeous color. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I can definitely get the blueberry. It's not a fresh blueberry. It's more of a candyish blueberry, but it works so well. And I get a little bit of the mint from that mojito. This one is just a fabulous scent. Okay, and the next thing I got were, I ordered when she was having the sale on her mini um, scuba bowls. They're four ounces, and they were buy two, get one free. So I got 12 of them. So I'll go over those with you. The first one I got is Crunch Berries, and I have melted this one. Just a little to try it because I couldn't wait. You know, you always got to try something out. And this is divine. It is so good. It smells just like the cereal. And it was really, really strong, not even letting it cure for a few days. So I like that one a lot. And then I got Snowman Poop because the name's just really cute. And it's a really pretty, it just looks like snow or like glue. It's weird. And this one is beautiful. I like it. It's a little bit minty, not a lot at all with some vanilla in there. It's very toned down. It almost reminds me of some kind of chapstick that I used to get from Avon when I was little. And so I really, really like that. Kind of a little throwback. And then pumpkin caramel crunch. And this one just looks like pumpkin pie filling, like pumpkin right out of the can. <sighs> this is so good. I get caramel right away with a little bit of um, pumpkin in it. This is just freaking amazing. If you order one scent from her, you should try that. It's good. And then the next one I got is Lemon Dippity because I heard everybody on her Facebook group um, raving about this. So I'm like, well, better try it. It's got pretty glitter in it. Look how pretty that glistens. I can't see on that side. The light's in the way. Um, and this one, I don't really care for. Um... I mean, it smells good, but it's, I don't know, I think it's more of a cleaner lemon. I wish it would have been like a little more of a sweeter bakery or lemon, um, but it's okay. I'm anxious, hopefully when I melt it, the scent changes a little bit. And then I got toasted marshmallows to mix with other scents. I love marshmallow scents, and that's got really pretty little glitters on it. 
And this one smells okay. I can't smell it too much right now, but um, when I smelt it previously, I kind of got like a plasticky smell to it. Um, I think the marshmallow might be starting to come out a little bit more, though. And then I got Cherries Jubilee, because I like me some cherries. Pretty little glitters. And this is very strong. And it's kind of, I get, um, like a more tart candy cherry. It's really good. And then I got Hot Pink and Lime, which the scent is amazing. Oh, I think the hot pink was supposed to be grapefruit, which I definitely get the sourness from the grapefruit, and it's sweet at the same time, and the lime, that scent is perfect. I really, really like that one. And then I got this one for my sister because she is having a little girl um, in December, so I thought maybe this would help calm them both down. This is the bedtime bath, and that's just gorgeous. I love it. And just to show you how soft these are, like, that's really soft. They come out very easily. Kind of messy, but it's okay. Um, and this one smells just like Johnson Johnson's. It's very, very good. And then I have reindeer droppings, and my kids love this one. And I have used quite a bit of this already. The first time I used it, I put it in my living room in, I think, one of the Yankee melters I have. And um, I didn't get a scent throw. Once in a while, I get like a whoosh of just sweet. So I put it in my bedroom and the scent really came out and it was a lot stronger in there in a smaller room and it it's just a very sweet scent I can't really pick out a lot of notes to it but it's really good it'd be good mixed with something um, and then I got Nana's kitchen so cute and this is just amazing it smells like cinnamon sticks to me um, maybe a few other spices mixed in there but I'm I really like that one I love cinnamon so much and then I have Sp Fireside Splendor, and this is the only one that I really did not care for in my order. And it's just my nose. Other people might like it, but it's too smoky to me. Um, I thought maybe it'd be a little bit more toned down, but it's a very smoky scent. It smells like you're smoking something. I don't know. Don't even pay attention to me. And then I got Candy Cane Punch in the Scoopable. And once again, the scent is fabulous. Ooh, kind of helps to clear my nose up too. That is really, really good. So overall, I am pretty thrilled with my order from Granny's. I got a lot of stuff um, for the money that, you know, I mean, I got a lot, you can get a lot more with Granny's for your money than you can um, from Yankee or from other vendors or whatnot. Um, I'm going to let these cure for a little bit more. Hopefully by the time I get ready to melt them, they kick some ass because some of these scents are just amazing. Anyways, thanks for listening. I have a few more hauls coming this week, so when I get them, we'll sniff them together. Thanks. Have a good day, guys. Bye.